Hello YouTube, uh, welcome and welcome back to the Big King Family channel. Uh, welcome to those who are new here and welcome back to those who are who have always followed our channel. Um, today I'll just be doing a hair tutorial. Um, I did have braids up. I did have a braid style up and um, I took it down yesterday and um, well no two days ago I took it down but then the next day I had my daughter wash and condition my hair because, you know, um, I had it up for like five weeks. I wanted it up for six weeks, but after five weeks, it was looking so rough. I went ahead and took it down. I usually work on the weekends, but this weekend, I went ahead and I, um, this weekend, I went ahead and I took it down because they did not call me for work. Okay, so now that I haven't had to work on Friday or Saturday, tomorrow is Sunday. They may call me tomorrow, but that's fine. No big deal. So she washed, shampooed, conditioned, and um, blow dried out my hair. So now you can at least go through it. It was so matted up. It had like clumps and clumps of um, hair that was all matted up. My daughter was pretty mad at me and stuff, but we had to try to get it, you know, get it back manageable, kind of like this. And as you can see, I have like, on the camera, it don't show up very good where I have a whole lot of, of grays, but I do. So I told you how long I had it up. For five weeks i took it down i let it rest a little bit this is about the fourth day out you know you're supposed to let your hair rest some so i let it rest for one day the next day i went ahead and washed and conditioned it which made it very matted up but as you take your hair down number one tip when you take your hair down always go through and comb it out and spread it out and comb it out really well as you take it down i did not do that i did not the african best and i got the you might can or can't see those on the other side. The regular strength. Okay. Now I'm just going to tear it all the way. $3.94 at Walmart, you guys. Okay, everybody. I got the African Best term. Okay. And I got the regular kind. Got all of, like that olive oil um, stuff in there. And usually before I blow dry it, I put a little bit of that olive oil um, oil that they have in there. Okay. So now I'm opening it up. Three dollars and ninety-four cent at Walmart. Three ninety-four. That's all I do with my hair. Three ninety-four. You don't see too many people doing perm uh, tutorials, but yeah, I'm gonna put a perm on my head. So I'm gonna open this up. Bam, like that. And I always have a little bit right there. I try to take that little bit, slide it off. But I try to keep as much perm as possible, so I have to put on my hair. It comes with some deep conditioner. I will be using that along with some more conditioner. I like to put a lot of conditioner on my hair. Let it sit for just two to three minutes. That's it. I don't condition my hair for too long. I do that. So here's the, oh, it comes with a shampoo too. Olive oil, naturalizing shampoo. That can be out the way. And of course, this is the activator that I'm going to pour into here. And there's usually a piece of paper that got a stick and gloves with it that I'll use to just mix that up. And here it is, right here. These are the instructions. But I've been perming my hair for so long. I don't even look at them. But I told you guys I was going to show you the oil. Usually some kind of little oil come with it. But I guess not. I guess it's going to stop sliding a little oil in there. I really don't appreciate it. Because I use that oil even after, you know, even after I get through perming my hair. And so, and the next time I wash my hair again, I put a little bit of that oil on there to give it kind of a little bit of a shine once you blow dry. So tip, nothing real heavy. You could probably use grease or any kind of shiner that you use for your hair and just put just a palm size. Rub it real good and put it on your wet hair before you get ready to blow dry. And it'll come out with a pretty good little shine. Real tough. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is mix it up. You want to mix it up until it gets to that, that texture, like a real creamy-like texture like that, okay? I don't never prep my edges or my um, roots. I don't prep my edges or roots. I don't put no oil on my edges or my roots. I, I really don't. It doesn't bother me. So now, I'm going to go ahead and put the perm on.
Okay, as you can see, I just got it smoothed up into a, a ponytail thing and I just keep smoothing it up. I don't really perm my edges, my ends, my ends, not my edges. I don't perm my ends. I got all my edges permed and all in between there. I didn't even part it out into four parts like a lot of people do. I just went ahead and I just was going through it, just putting it in there, putting it in there. So now I'm just going to be smoothing it up for just a little bit, you guys. And next, I'll be washing this out. Okay? It's not some rocket sciences. Just do it real quick. Do it and forget it, huh? I don't really just do the whole lot when it comes permanent. Look, y'all. Nicole TV. You know she had head of her like that one time. I really love her. I like her channel. But anyway, this has been it. Only 10 to 15 minutes, and I'm going to wash this stuff out. I'm going to first be using this. But I do have two more shampoos I'll be using. It's just the uh, L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal Paris shampoo and conditioner. And I will be washing and conditioning it very, very well. Okay, you guys, I have permed my hair, I have shampooed it, I have conditioned it, and it's not all the way dry yet, but I am not, I have decided not to color my hair because I'm just tired. I've gotten a little tired, so what I'm going to do is blow dry my hair, hair out. I think I'm going to ask my daughter for something to give me a little shine so I can put that on my hair. Then I'm going to blow dry my hair out, and then I'm going to flat iron it, and then I will just wrap it up. I'm not going to bump it. Um, I do need my daughter to cut my ends, to go through my ends, so I'm going to see if she can do that um, before this video is up. Okay, so now, let me blow dry it out. It came out pretty straight. It's so clean, and it feels really good, so I'm just going to blow dry it out now, and then we will go from there. Okay, here's my hair in the real. Um, I'll just blow dry it out. As you see, my little grays are up there and stuff in the front, but this this trip I will not be coloring my hair. So as I told you, yeah, my hair is a little longer than what it normally be. It normally do not be that long. It'll probably be like right, right up here. 
all the way around. So I'm glad for the extra length because I was thinking about like doing my edges and then kind of bumping it up out and around because here lately I have not been liking for my hair to be like right in my face. I don't know why. And I didn't show you guys, but the Blue Magic, one my daughter uses, I just put a little bit on my hand. It was about this much in the palm of my hand and just rubbed it together and all over my hair, just about that much. I'm gonna put that back, put it back in the thing. Okay, so that's how I look after the blow dry. Okay, I always have liked my shower curry. Look, good vibes, good vibes. So yeah, we all, you always wanna have just good vibes in your home, a good spirit in your home, positivity in your home, and just let it roll, let it be that way in your home. You pick and choose your environment, and I'm definitely picky about my environment. The people I hang around and the people I have my company with, God is good. So, now I'm going to flat iron it, but as you can see with my hair, I'm going to try to get it up close to my hair. I will be needing a trim. Like, look at there. Uh, not much of a trim, but a trim. Like, it's pretty... They claim when you see the, can you can see through the hair, like kind of right there, but not much of a trim. So I'm gonna tell my daughter, don't mess with my length too much. But yeah, you're seeing a few strags and stuff. So right now my daughter is busy and preoccupied with something else. So I'm sorry about how I'm holding the phone, Lord have mercy. Preoccupied with something else. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron my hair. And then I'm gonna have her uh, do my ends, clip my ends. Okay. So I will not. Be showing the part where I flat iron my hair. After I flat iron it, I'll show you how it looks. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll probably record just a little bit of it and put it in. I'm finna flat iron it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so what I'm doing now is preparing to go ahead and flat iron my hair. I don't section it off or nothing like that. Not too much or whatever. Um, Lord's willing. I really would like to just put it all up in a ponytail. And I just start at the back doing little section by little section all the way up to the top. And that's and then I once I get like almost to the top, I might split it and do this side and then I'll do that side. So now what I'm gonna do is wait for these to get high. You see the thing that popped down, whatever. Uh the ones I'm using, these are by uh Zoe. I'm mad I bought these things about four or five years. Oh no, not even eight to nine years ago. Cause I was in two 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 one, it's a house that I remember. Um nine years ago so i'm gonna let these heat up and then i'm gonna get started flat ironing Alrighty, so I have flat ironed it and stuff. So I flat ironed it. But still at my ends, you see how they're looking at the ends? How that's looking. So we don't want that. So I'm gonna have my daughter like clip my ends. I don't know if I'm showing them well, but I'm gonna have her clip my ends so I want them like that. I want them pretty straight at the ends. And I was thinking about just like wearing my hair to the back with a little bit of bump and doing my edges. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just bump it down through there and put some edges and um, you'll see the end result. But right now I'm gonna have her clip my ends. Let me see. <laughs> Little bitty tips on the end, Tip. Show me your hand. <laughs> Go down even farther, Tip. That's too much, y'all. Just <laughs> little bitty tips on the end, huh? Y'all, comment down below. Is that too much, Harold? <laughs> 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 no. 
I told you I want to keep my well, link. But it's true. Dang, I told you I want to keep my link, okay. Tip. Now just do it on the end. Yeah, they may be straight, but yeah. <laughs> uh, I do want my ears cut. I'm not going to lie. Okay, it helps your hair grow. Stop messing up, but do not, I repeat, Ramel. do not take all my hair off like last right. time. Stay tuned.